Okay, in this video we're going to talk about how to factor the difference of two squares. Now the difference of two squares, difference just means subtracting. The word difference in mathematics means you're going to be subtracting something. Subtracting. And in this case we're going to be subtracting numbers that are perfect squares. For example, this expression right here, a squared minus b squared, this is an example of the difference of two squares. I can see that these two expressions right here, a squared and b squared, they are perfect square numbers. And we are subtracting them, so this is the difference of two squares. Well, the difference of two squares always factors into two binomial expressions. And the two binomial expressions always look like this. It looks like a plus b, that is the square root of this term, plus the square root of this term, multiplied times a minus b, that is the square root of this term minus the square root of this term. And it's easy to see, it's easy to check that this is in fact the correct factorization of this expression if we just use our FOIL method and multiply these two uh, binomials together and see if we do in fact get a squared minus b squared. So let's do that. If I use FOIL on these two binomials, then I'm going to multiply my two first terms, a times a, that gives me a squared. I'm going to multiply my two outer terms, a times negative b, which is going to be negative ab. I'm going to multiply my two inner terms, positive b and positive a, that's going to give me, again, positive ab. And then I'm going to multiply my two last terms, which is positive b and negative b. So that's going to give me positive times negative, negative b squared. And now you can probably see what's happening here. My two, my two middle terms, which are, I can see they're like terms. That's an ab term and that's an ab term. Well, this is minus ab and this is plus ab. Those two terms basically cancel each other out. So those two terms go away and what I'm left with is a squared minus b squared. All right. So let's take a look at some examples on factoring the difference of two squares. Here I've got example one. It says factor x squared minus 64. Well, this shouldn't be too hard. I know what the form of factoring the difference of two squares is. And I can see that this expression here is, in fact, the difference of two perfect squares the difference of, I'm subtracting, so it's a difference of two numbers that are both perfect squares. x squared is a perfect square, and 64 is 8 times 8, or 8 squared. So, I'm going to write this as two binomial factors. And I'm going to do just like I did before, a plus b times a minus b, and my first term is going to be the square root of this term, square root of x squared is x, plus the square root of this, which is 8. So that's going to be x plus 8, and my second binomial is going to be x minus 8. And now I have factored this difference of two squares. Again, I can check to see if I'm correct just by using my FOIL method. First terms, x times x is x squared. Outer, x times negative 8 is negative 8x. Inner is going to be positive 8x. And last, positive 8 times negative 8 is negative 64. And again, I can see my two middle terms here, negative 8x and positive 8x. They're going to cancel each other out. And I'm left with x squared minus 64. Example number two, factor 25x squared minus 81. Again, I can see that what I have here is the difference of two perfect squares. And this first term here, you might be tempted to say, wait a minute, that, I'm not sure if that's a perfect square. But yeah, if you look and you can see that this coefficient 25 is a perfect square, the square root of 25 is 5, and x squared is a perfect square, the square root of x squared is x, so the square root of this term is 5x, and the square root of this term is 9, so I have the difference of two squares, which means I can factor it into this same format, a plus b times a minus b. This time my a part is going to be 5x, and my b part is going to be 9, so that's going to be 5x plus 9 and 5x minus 9. And again, if I want to check myself, I can do that arithmetic again and make sure that I'm going to get 25x squared minus 81. 
Now, one of the things you start to realize about using the, uh, fa when you're factoring the difference of two squares is that often the most challenging part about it is just being able to identify that in fact you do have the difference of two squares. A lot of times students will look at an expression like this and they'll say, I, d I can't factor that. There's no greatest common factor and I don't have a middle term so I can't use you know, my, my other factoring techniques so I can't factor it. But in fact, if you look at it a little bit closer, you realize, oh wait a minute, this term right here is a perfect square. The square root of this would be 4x. This term right here is also a perfect square. The square root of this term would be 7y and I'm subtracting them so I have the difference of two squares. So again, I can factor it into a plus b and a minus b. So in this case, it's going to be 4x plus 7y times 4x minus 7y. And finally, note that this only, this this factoring technique, the factoring into a plus b times a minus b, this only works when you are factoring the difference of two squares. And notice in this example down here, example number four, here I don't have the difference of two squares. I have the sum of two squares. And this expression is not factorable. So make sure when you are looking at you know, your expression, don't just look at the fact that you have two perfect square terms they have to be subtracted. It has to be the difference of two squares. Otherwise, this a plus b times a minus b technique will not work.